Today we are at the Richardson Olmstead Complex in Buffalo, New York, and we are banding peregrine falcons. I started working on peregrine falcons when I started as a senior wildlife biologist for New York State 14 years ago. We ban peregrine falcons so we can track their movements. Observations of the permanent leg bands that we place on them allow us to see the distribution of these falcons. Oh, peregrine falcons are one of the endangered species of New York State, but they are also a success story. Uh, peregrine falcons were extirpated from New York State in the 60s and by the mid 70s there was a restoration program that was established uh, in cooperation with New York State DEC and Cornell University. Uh, by 1986 they were nesting on the Hudson River and by 1996 we had them nesting in Buffalo. Oh, we're going to enter the building uh, that it, the nest box is placed in. It's at about 45 feet. The nest box is tucked in a window and was put in here in 2014, immediately accepted by the peregrine falcons who at that time were flying around and looking for a place to nest. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to sneak up and put the slider between us and the outside of the box. That'll keep the chicks towards us inside this building and the mother bird on the outside. Oh, the adults usually put up a very vigorous nest defense and chick defense. So we remove, we open the back of the nest box very quickly, remove the chicks, and the entire time this is happening, usually have a female looking at you with this glare of death. Meanwhile, cawing like, kick, 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 kick. We'll place them each in their own individual bucket and at that time we will pick each one up and try and determine the gender. Uh, that's done with a leg gauge and that'll determine the size of the band we place on them. Leg. And see, we're going to use this, it's called a leg gauge to, and we want to determine the, uh, the size. And it's hard to tell at this point because this little bird is, is I think, still growing. It's, um, but I would say this bird seems uh, large to me, and I would think it was a female. So what I want to make sure is that this band spins safely around her foot without closing her foot. And you can see that that band is not going to close her foot. We have two types of bands that we place on them. At uh, three weeks of age, we place a Fish and Wildlife Service band on their left leg and at what I consider a field readable band. It's often called a New York State band on their right leg. That can be recorded by either scientists or recreational bird watchers. She's done. She That bird will always be a female 52 over BW, black over green. Peregrine falcons attract a very unique brand of bird watcher. People who get very attached to the birds personally. So that bird becomes very important to them. It does make people feel a connection with nature that I don't know that they feel in other ways. It's a unique connection. And I argue that these people then become conservationists and they join organizations that promote conservation and it gives them a connection that they might not have with, believe me, any other species of bird. They will just watch peregrine falcons and nothing else.